Knox, a security platform developed by Samsung, is designed to provide robust protection for mobile devices, particularly for enterprise environments. It encompasses a suite of security features that include device encryption, secure boot, application isolation, and containerization. Knox is embedded at both the hardware and software levels of Samsung devices, ensuring a multi-layered approach to security. In scenarios where data security is paramount, such as in corporate settings, healthcare, finance, and government sectors, Knox is particularly beneficial. It provides a high level of protection against data breaches, unauthorized access, and malware attacks. This security is crucial for businesses handling sensitive information, ensuring compliance with regulatory standards and protecting intellectual property. Additionally, Knox allows its administrators to manage and secure devices remotely, offering capabilities like device tracking, remote wipe, and policy enforcement. These features are invaluable in maintaining a secure and efficient mobile workforce, particularly in scenarios where employees are using their devices for both work and personal activities. However, Knox can be frustrating in other scenarios, particularly for individual users or in contexts where such stringent security is not necessary. The platform can impose limitations on device customization and functionality, restricting the installation of certain apps or modifications that might be otherwise harmless but fall outside Knox's security parameters. This can be seen as overly restrictive, particularly for tech-savvy users who enjoy personalizing their devices or need specific tools that Knox may block. Furthermore, the complexity and intrusiveness of some security features might lead to usability issues, causing delays or additional steps to complete simple tasks, which can be annoying for users accustomed to a more streamlined experience. Critically, while Knox provides exceptional security, its implementation can sometimes be overbearing, creating a user experience that feels less flexible and more controlled. This trade-off between security and usability is a common criticism, highlighting the challenge of balancing robust protection with user autonomy and convenience. First, you need to enable developer options on your device. This option is hidden by default because it contains advanced settings that are not typically needed by the average user. To unlock it, start by opening the Settings app on your Samsung device. Scroll all the way down to the bottom and look for an option called About Phone tap on this option to open it. Inside the About Phone menu, you will see various details about your device. Look for a section called Software Information and tap on it. Here you will find several software-related details, including the Android version, the baseband version, and more. The item you are looking for is build number. Once you find build number, you need to tap on it seven times in quick succession. As you tap, you may see a small pop-up message indicating how many more taps are needed to unlock developer options. If you have a security lock on your device, such as a PIN, pattern, or password, you will be prompted to enter it after the seventh tap. This is a security measure to ensure that only the device owner can unlock these advanced settings. After entering your security information, you will see a message saying developer mode has been turned on. Now that developer options are enabled, you need to go back to the main settings menu. Once again, scroll down to the bottom, but this time you will see a new menu item called developer options. Tap on it to open the developer options menu. In the developer options menu, you will find a wide range of settings and options that are typically used by developers. Look for the option labeled USB Debugging. This option allows your device to communicate with the computer using the Android Debug Bridge ADB, which is a tool used for debugging and other developer tasks. To enable USB Debugging, tap on the switch next to USB Debugging. You will see a warning message explaining what USB Debugging is and cautioning you about the potential risks of enabling it, such as increased exposure to security vulnerabilities. If you understand the risks and still want to proceed, tap OK to confirm. Once USB debugging is enabled, you can connect your Samsung device to a computer using a USB cable. When you do this for the first time, you will see a prompt on your device asking you to allow USB debugging from the connected computer. This is another security measure to ensure that you only allow trusted computers to communicate with your device. Check the box that says always allow from this computer if you plan to use the same computer regularly, then tap allow. Now your Samsung device is set up for USB debugging and you can use tools like ADB to interact with it from your computer for various tasks such as app development, system diagnostics, or transferring data. Imagine unlocking the full potential of your smartphone by eliminating bloatware that you never use. This not only frees up storage, but also reduces unnecessary background processes, leading to noticeable improvements in speed and battery life. Consider the idea that many system apps can be covertly collecting data or sending ads, subtly draining your battery and hogging your bandwidth. By removing these, you regain control over your device's resources and privacy. The process itself, using ADB, is a deep dive into the technical realm, giving you a taste of the power and control usually reserved for advanced users or developers. With ADB, you're not just uninstalling apps, you're customizing your Android environment at a fundamental level. This capability allows you to mold your device into a tool that works precisely how you want it to, rather than how manufacturers and carriers intended. It's like peeling away layers of unnecessary clutter to reveal a purer, more efficient form of technology. 
This kind of power also comes with a sense of accomplishment and a deeper understanding of how your device works. It's a step towards mastering your tech, moving from being a passive user to an active architect of your own digital experience. Device admin apps, also known as device administration applications, are a class of mobile applications that have elevated privileges on a device. These apps are typically used in enterprise environments to enforce security policies, manage device configurations, and ensure compliance with corporate policies. By gaining device administrator privileges, these applications can perform a range of tasks that regular apps cannot, such as remotely wiping data, enforcing password rules, disabling the camera, and controlling the installation of other applications. However, the power of device admin apps also raises privacy and security concerns. Malicious apps that trick users into granting device admin privileges can cause significant harm, such as locking users out of their devices, stealing data, or installing unwanted software. Therefore, it's crucial for users to be cautious about which apps they grant these privileges to and for developers to implement security best practices to protect users. Moreover, the integration of device admin functionalities with cloud services has revolutionized the management of mobile fleets. Administrators can now deploy configurations and updates across thousands of devices simultaneously from a central console, streamlining operations and reducing downtime. This cloud-based management also allows for real-time monitoring and analytics, providing insights into device usage patterns and potential security threats. Finally, the evolution of device admin apps is closely tied to advancements in mobile operating systems. As OS vendors like Google and Apple continue to enhance their platforms, device admin apps are becoming more sophisticated, offering deeper integration with system-level features and improving overall device performance and security. This ongoing development ensures that device admin apps remain a vital tool in the ever-evolving landscape of mobile technology.